Work is already underway to remove a relic from the past from the Caldwell County Courthouse. And the woman behind those efforts says the fight for justice is not over yet. We did this. Just outside the window of Miss Carter's office is a reminder of a much darker chapter in history. You know, I am just so happy because I never thought I would live to see the day that Lockhart would allow that to be removed. Earlier this fall, county commissioners voted to relocate the town square's Confederate monument. It was a personal fight for Miss Carter, who grew up under its shadow. As a young person, you know, we wasn't allowed downtown. We didn't come downtown. And as you know, there's not anything down here for uh, people that look like me anyway, you know. She wasn't alone in that fight. A group of community activists managed to raise the almost $30,000 for it, and every penny was a victory for a community that was terrorized by the monument's presence. Oh yeah, back when I was a kid, you know, I was born in 1960. I went to uh, uh, public school uh, in 66, and uh, yeah, we didn't come downtown. Lockhart, like much of America, looked a lot different back then. The black uh, uh, people would sit on one side of the cafe and white people on the other, you know, and when we would walk to town, uh, you know, they would just make ugly comments to my dad, you know, he would grab our hands and, you know, uh, tell us, you know, don't respond or whatever, you know. But the future is looking a little bit brighter. That's why I want some of this dirt, man, for my ancestors. For Miss Carter and the people who came before her, who never allowed themselves to dream of when this day would come. I think they would be very proud that we didn't stop fighting for, for justice, you know? Absolutely, I think they would be very proud uh, of us as a people, as a whole, and as a community, absolutely. I know they'd be shouting in joy. You know, I'm looking for their spirits to come up out of the ground when they rise this up, you know? It, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, time for rejoicing. And after celebrating this victory, Ms. Carter says the work keeps going.